Hi everybody and welcome to morning coffee break. It's raining outside so I can't do it outside today. I mean I could sit in the garage but I've got some things I want to show you and uh, I just thought I'd do it go ahead and do it in here because the birds they're out there in the rain. <laughs> uh, there's there wasn't any any seed. I put some bread out yesterday evening but they they ate all of it and they were all out there it's pitiful <laughs> it's raining they're still out there so I just went out there and threw some seed on the ground and threw a little bit up into the uh, like little area where the seed is a little bowl like thing underneath the feeder I threw some in there and threw some on the ground for them because they're obviously starved to death uh, I haven't seen chipmunks in a long time until this morning um, Kitty was in the window there. Uh, there was some little birds that were about about less than probably six inches away from her face or eight inches and they were you know on the green beans which is right in front of her. So she was watching that and I looked out there and there was a chipmunk had got in through the bird netting and was in that uh, bed. Uh, so I went out there to run it off and it, it, it ran around in there, ran around and finally got out. Uh, and then I saw another one out there getting some seeds and it ran underneath the uh, heat pump. So everybody's out there this morning trying to get something to eat. So I just thought, well, I'll give them a little bit. Um, today's Tuesday, August 17th. Currently it's 72, feels great. High today is only going to be 78. Of course, chance of rain is 100%. 87% humidity. There's no wind and air quality is 69. That's moderate. So, um, tonight, well, first of all, the thumbnail, I made chili in the crock pot yesterday and Joy fixed some cornbread to go with it. You gotta have cornbread with it. And uh, I used um, ground turkey and you can't even really, I mean, I can't tell the difference. Uh, especially if you make if you use ground turkey for something like meatloaf or chili or something like that sloppy joes it's hard to tell much difference really I mean and it tastes good so it was had a lot less fat a lot better for you um, and I did a little short if you'd like to see it uh, so that's the thumbnail today chili and the cornbread it was it was really really good um, also, tonight is going to be Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews, and we'll be doing the uh, we'll be doing five of the Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky, and then next week we'll be doing five more. Um, so I thought that I would go ahead and show them to you the ones that we're trying tonight instead of doing a separate uh, like preview of a review type thing. Uh, on this so I just thought I would show it to you this morning since I'm not able to walk around and do the garden and everything show you the garden so um, this stuff is what we've tried so far like on the last review is just fantastic so I, I anticipate all this being good and here's one that I'm really really been wanting to try it is Jeff's famous bacon jerky and it's maple brown sugar Maple brown sugar, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that. Kitty, you like you would like it? I think you would. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this one, oh, it looks so good, look at that. This isn't kitty stuff now. This isn't treats, she thinks this is treats. You got room there, kitty? You got enough room? Huh? There, now you can lay down. Okay, um, I'm going to go over the nutrition facts for this one because it's obviously different than the, the regular beef jerky. Uh, if you eat one ounce, it says serving per container two. So, I mean, if you ate half of, of all this, what are you getting into? Kitty. It's just a bag, honey. Let me go back in there. Okay, 
So that's half this bag. That's quite a bit. And, you know, I, I don't believe I would eat that much. So what I'm saying is uh, I, the nutrition facts, I would have less of what it says. So this one has 110 calories uh, and four and a half grams of, of total fat, one and a half saturated, um, five milligrams of cholesterol, 360 milligrams of sodium, that's only 15%, 14 grams of carbs, 14 grams of sugar, four grams of protein, and 6% of vitamin C. So that's interesting. Vitamin C, I don't usually see that in them, but that's good. Okay, this one is jalapeno carne asada. She, she really thinks this is treats. Honey, it's not treats. And just to show you the comparison, one ounce of this is 70 calories, two grams of total fat, three grams, no, one gram of saturated fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, only 80 milligrams of sodium, two grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein. So that's pretty good and 6% of iron. It's not treat kitty. I don't blame her. She, it looks just like a treat. Uh, this one is Jeff's famous all natural turkey jerky. Now I'm interested in that too. Uh, definitely. And on the tur turkey jerky, this is teriyaki. And you've been a good girl now. On this one, I'm sure it's a low calorie, 70 for an ounce. Only half a gram of total fat, no saturated fat. 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 300 milligrams of sodium, seven grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, and 4% of iron. So that is really, really not bad for you at all. None of them are really. Uh, this one is Korean barbecue flavor. Korean barbecue. And it has 100 calories, one and a half grams of fat, a half a gram saturated, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 270 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of carbs, 10 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein. 6% of iron, 2% of calcium, 2% of vitamin A. And then, this is the one that I was really interested in because it's it's low sodium. And that's uh, Jeff's famous beef jerky, the old fashioned original. And these all feel soft, really nice and soft. And it, only has 70 calories in an ounce. And an ounce is quite a bit. I mean, that would be, this is two and a half ounces. So, I mean, that would be, you know, like, that's quite a bit. I mean, you'd have to eat, you know, a lot of it. <coughs> and it only has 70 calories, two grams of total fat, one gram of saturated, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, only 80 milligrams of sodium is 3%. Two grams of uh, carbs, one gram of sugar is all, 10 grams of protein, and 6% of iron. So really got a good lineup. And then, like I said um, before, then next week we'll have five more. We got five more in there. So I just thought 10 would be a little too much to, to try at one time. So, so yeah, we'll be doing that. And... I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to trying it. So, um, they, they're a real good company. Uh, I've got a 10%. There'll be a 10% uh, code for 10% off. Um, that's good through the end of August. And uh, I think that you might, you know, you might want to get on their website and order some. 
because it's just delicious so far. Everything's really been delicious, and I, I figure these will be too. Okay. So, yeah, we'll be doing that this evening. And uh, now it's time for today's tidbits. Here's the first one. Tenger Massif, a smoldering volcanic complex. The Tenger Massif is a smoldering volcanic complex surrounded by a vast sea of black sand in East Java, Indonesia. This terrifying and intensely volcanic landscape emerged when a caldera of an ancient volcano gave birth to five new volcanic cones. They now lie across each other around the mother crater. What are you frisky for? She wanted to play. Say. Say. Hmm? What you being frisky for? You time to play? You gonna go? Now I can set this over here. She is. She's frisky this morning. Okay. Fairy Glen, an enchanted landslip in Scotland. Fairy Glen in Scotland's Isle of Skye is a surreal landscape that features enchanted green hills and crooked trees. They formed due to an ancient landslip or landslide and were shaped by glaciers thousands of years ago. It also has a stunning basalt rock formation that resembles a medieval castle. I don't see the trees they're talking about. Okay. The Great 1906 San Francisco Disaster. The San Francisco earthquake and the subsequent fire it caused on, in April 1906 are among the most devastating disasters in U.S. history. Broken gas lines and toppled candles and lamps fueled many raging fires. They burned uncontrollably for three days and nearly consumed the entire city. Over 250,000 people were left homeless. That's horrible. If you think about it, yeah, with those gas lines and they had gas lights and stuff, they could really, you know, cause problems. They were out of, out of control. The rare exotic 19th form of ice crystal. Recently, scientists discovered a new form of water ice dubbed Ice X1X. The previous 18 forms are hexagonal sided. This new variety of ice is rare, exotic, and a four sided crystal. It forms at ultra low temperatures and ultra high pressures. Such ice forms can be found deep in the Earth's mantle and on very cold planets and moons. My stomach's bothering me a little bit. My, I take, you know, I have to in the morning take a pill for osteoporosis. And you're supposed to have it on an empty stomach and stay upright and all this stuff. It just, sometimes it bothers me and sometimes it doesn't. I'm sure it'll get better after a while. Studies suggest oceans started warming up after 1990. The ocean temperature was thought to be rising gradually from the mid 20th century. But a study by scientists from California's UC Santa Barbara University suggests that in the 1950 to 1990 period, the ocean maintained a steady temperature. After 1990, the entire water column switched from cooling to warming. Oleg, Oleggi, an Italian lake formed by landslide. Alleghi is a small village in the region of Veneto, Italy. It is located close to Alleghi Lake, formed due to a, a landslide on Mount Piz on the night of January 11, 1771. The landslide killed 48 people and blocked the natural water flow of the river Cordoval, leading to the formation of Alleghi Lake. Hmm. Interesting. Old Hairy Rocks, a stunning chalk formation. Old Hairy Rocks is a part of the Jurassic Coast on England's Isle of Purbeck. These rocks were created thousands of years ago by sea erosion. 
They are a part of the chalk riff or cliff of calcium deposits formed when sea animals die and fall into the seabed. The name Old Harry refers to the devil who legend says once slept on the rocks. Smoke from wildfire blankets Jerusalem. A massive wildfire outside Jerusalem sent a thick cloud of smoke over the city on Sunday. The cloud covered the skies with a black and orange blanket of smoke. As a precaution, several communities just west of Jerusalem were evacuated. Hundreds of firefighters from across, across the country are combating to bring the blaze under control. What's in the far side of the moon? The hemisphere of the moon facing away from the earth is called the far side of the moon. It has basaltic plains formed by volcanic eruptions. The craters on the far side are larger than those on the side visible from earth. The crew of Apollo 8, which orbited the moon in 1968, were the first humans to view the region with their own eyes. Oh, that's interesting. And lastly, three tropical systems to impact U.S., Caribbean, and Bermuda. Three tropical systems churning in the Atlantic Basin threaten to impact the U.S. Gulf Coast, some Caribbean islands, and Bermuda. Tropical Storm Fred could make landfall by Monday evening along the Florida Panhandle. Grace dropped rain over Puerto Rico early Monday, while the Tropical Depression 8 formed near Bermuda, Bermuda could become a storm today. That's it for today's tidbits, everybody, and that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. It's not quite as long because I didn't get to do my uh, garden update, but it is raining fairly steadily. The birds, I think they've already eaten everything I put out in those feet in the bottom of the feeders. They're probably still out there eating what's on the ground. I don't, I, I'm surprised they'll be out there in the rain like that, uh, eating, you know, even the chipmunks and stuff. Squirrels, there were some squirrels out there too. The rabbits, they don't usually come around until the evening, like, like the, lastly, but when everything's gone, they'll show up. But sometimes they're out there when the birds are out there, but usually it's of the evening when they come out. There's be two or three of them out there, sometimes more. <clears throat> but I'm glad to see a few chipmunks because I was kind of worried because I know there was at least six and I, you know, I saw two this morning but I haven't seen it I didn't, hadn't seen them for about a week uh, so I was afraid they were all turned to a, a meal for the hawks so uh, they got to be careful when they're out there because they don't know when that hawk's coming I mean you wouldn't hear it or anything so all right, everybody, I think that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it outside and show you the garden today, but I'm sure this rain will be really good for it because I don't, you know, tap water has all those like chlorine and fluoride in it and stuff. It's just not good for plants. So I always love it when they get some rain. I just hope it doesn't rain day after day after day, you know, but I need some sunshine in between them at least, so. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I'm not sure what else I'll do today. I know we'll have um, Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tonight with uh, Awesome Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky. Uh, hope you'll check out their website. It's www.jeffsfamousjerky.com. I believe it's what it was. Just want to make sure. Yes. www.jeffsfamousjerky.com. You can see it right there. Check it out. I think you'll like it. They, do, they have a lot more products also uh, than just what you've seen so far. they got a lot of other things. And uh, some things, you know, not that are not beef jerky. Um, you just check it out and you'll be surprised at all the different products they have. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you later on doing something. And then this evening we'll do the reviews. All right, everybody. Have a great day and God bless.